Alright, what is up guys, and of course always welcome back to, well, to UBL week 5 versus JWE and, um, so I remember this name correctly, and his, um, uh, Atlanta Victinis. Um, going into this game, uh, this is a very tough team, as always, and, um, I had quite a rough week, I'm both getting sick, and uh, I got promoted at work, so th the combination is killing me, but we really got this to work, and, um, I really hope I am able to put some pressure on my opponent. I'm bringing something more unique as I feel I'm not really in the play of route anymore, but um, I still want to provide something more fun, hopefully. And you know, it can break through if done right. Uh, this team should be on the screen. I feel Mons making sense for this matchup are Gengar, Meanwhile, Rotom, Araquanid, Sylveon, and Magnuson or Flygon. So we'll see what, what made it through. <laughs> <laughs> I myself was actually bring in um, Salasal, Haxorus, Rotom Wash. Oh, yeah, you guys see the screen. So, what more are we missing? I think I think we predicted this almost right. Bit surprised not to see a rack on it. Uh, Sand Slash can be annoying. But two ground types is kind of nice. Um, kind of regret I didn't bring um, my Sneasel for this. But, let's see, ideal lead. I think this Troya looks about right. Um, I think we'll start off with it. Yeah, I feel Sandslash could be his possible main lead, I think, or Flygon. And I think I can kind of bait both to punish him. And if anything else, we just go Guns Blazing. Now, Scyther might not be as Apex as I want it to be, but hopefully we can break through anyway with that in mind. Um, I had a vision of uh, setting up versus Araquanid with Scyther with Soul Sands, but um, it still are able to hold its own. And um, yeah, basically, I'm trying to remember what did I even pre prep for, but I'm not necessarily all that worried. I think I think I should be able to do all right. And if it starts off with uh, Sand Slash, I figure he goes probably for Stealth Rocks early, and that should be fine. Let's see, he leads off with Brandon. That's um that's a flying on actually. Hmm. So he either U-turns here. I'll go directly for an ice punch. I think Sandslash comes in if he goes directly for an earthquake. U-turns, yeah, makes sense. And like I said, I think Sandslash comes in because he can take a hit at least once, and he probably predicted me to go for Stealth Rocks. If I was being greedy. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, looks about right. And this Ice Punch will do... Fair damage. That's a fat Sand Slash, for sure. So, Knock Off, Earthquake, or Stealth Rock. Yep, sending in Helios, I think. I think I'm gonna go for a knockoff. For me, anything else doesn't make any sense. Knockoff, yep, there we go. Get rid of my leftovers, which is alright. And we see leftovers again. He is now he's still in range of cannot be killed here. The question is what he switches in with. I'll lose nothing by burning. Does it have a switch into Hydro Pump? It really doesn't. High neural damage. I think only Sylveon comes in. So I think Hydro Pump is um, kind of safe. I could have Volt Switch. I felt Volt Switch was going to be nice, but I think Sylveon comes in. Yeah. So let's see. Hydro Pump connected. We shouldn't do. All that much, really. We, at least we break in here. So we follow that up with a ball switch. He's actually faster. Wow. Wow, my mistake. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is actually set up a soul stance directly. Um because I think it switches into his sand slash to soak a hit. Or that's what I hope. That's what I want him to do. Come on, do it, buddy. I am playing overly aggressive here because I have no idea why. <laughs> By the way, I like, I'm so excited about the Crown Tundra and like all the things is involved there. So I feel I'm, my focus is somewhere else for all the wrong reasons. Right, switches out, goes to Spectacles. Um, so we're gonna get our free Soul Stance up, which should allow us to knock him out actually. And this should be really scary for him. I'm gonna go for that dual wing beat. So no rocks for you. <laughs> so I figure Rotom Wash could come in here. Or his Rotom... Not the wrong Rotom, Rotom... Uh, heat. Like thinking, what's it called? Um, you see Brandon. So I figure this one is probably going to be Scarfed. So we're going to go for the quick attack. Just get as much damage in there as possible. <laughs> oh yeah. Mr. Stone Edge. Yes. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> Predicted. Now we are in ice shard range, which um, is kind of kind of rough. But that should also be his only play. This is actually kind of nice. <laughs> Let's see. So Sliders do a lot more than I was supposed to, so that's... It's both dumb and cool at the same time. Stone Edge clearly helped. Really feel bad for JV, my opponent, as, you know, I missed plenty of Stone Edges before. It's only a 20% chance of missing, and yet it seems to be happening a lot more than that. Right, Teeth. Now, we could actually avoid being a range of Shadow Ball. So I'm gonna take that risk. He could also be Destiny Bond. Shadow Ball. Please take this. No. That's fine. This Troy, I can now kind of, kind of lose a little bit. Question is whether or not I want to stealth rock or um, just go for an earthquake. Actually, Stone Edge is quite. I could put myself in the same position. <laughs> All right, withdraws. Please be Rotom, Lucy. All right, let's see how much we'll do. We know it's speedy. Stone Edge, we connect it, and that should be a dead Sylveon, yeah. <sighs> I hate to see it, I really do. Because I know exactly how this could have turned about. Right, brings in teeth. Maybe his specs, now that I think about it. I could bring in Jujimbo. As is an Assault Vest variant of um, 
You know what? It's a crazy set. I like it. It might actually not work. Energy ball. Right, cool. Took it like a champ. I think Sludge Bomb is the easiest play we have. Get into poison and whatnot. I don't I don't believe he stays in. Ah oh, nah, we got a shadow ball. I wanna see if he can switch up moves. Just a sign to withdraw. I'm I feeling it's scarfed. Fuego Diego. The shadow ball shouldn't do anything spectacular. Ooh, yeah, did absolutely nothing. And he should have a combination of will o and whatnot. Should I bait for poison? I kind of feel I should. I want to see if he will switch here. To be honest, I'm just happy with any damage I get here. Mud slap. What were you predicting? Because I feel this is um, a salt vest variant. And mud slap is weird. Though I have my suspicions of what it was for. I want to see him go for overheat because I really want just to. Right, he vault switches. Damn it. We took that quite nicely. <sighs> this is a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure for this. For me, I kind of feel just me while it comes in and it's just going to wreak havoc on me. Right, brings in teeth again. Now, I don't believe I'm arranged for a Shadow Ball kill, but um, like I said, I feel this set is scarfed. Let's see, here's a Shadow Ball, nothing to it. Yeah, and it definitely puts us in range. Retaliation should be nice, but uh, that's about it, really. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because I have nothing I want to take a hit here. I really don't. It gotta be specs. Now that I think about it, it has to be specs. Anything else just doesn't make any sense. We're built to outspeed this. So unless he's scarfed, which is a plausibility. Um, flame charging here. Just outspeed me while he just decided to withdraw, which is awesome. As I do believe the road term, as stated, was just all kinds of nests. It has to be a salt vest. And we saw mud slap on this. There is no way that's gonna kill though. I have no idea though, but yeah, let's find out. Yeah, that's all salt vest as shit. <laughs> Accuracy fell, that's actually quite nice to um, So right. Alright, let's see. We know it's a salt list. Oh, 
which means we should be able to... I'm actually going to set Stealth Rocks here, because this combination should be Overheat, Mud Slap, clearly. I would just really want to ruin his switch-ins. Just I am in I just gonna start stopping or start missing things. And he knows that, like the accuracy is just gonna be the worst. As he keeps mud slapping. Because I might actually not lose the matchup eventually, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just going to be one of those things where I'll lose for all the wrong reasons. And all of a sudden, Miwal wins. Fuck it, let's do it. I want my free setup with uh, Haxorus, I guess. Or something weird here would be nice. <laughs> uh, this is kind of rough though. Really interesting Rotom set, however, I really can't say much more than that. I am sack playing for a Dragon Dance. That's the goal. Let's see, there we go, Rotom is gone. Um, so Miwal comes in. The only positive trait I have is I uh, full HP, and I should be able to uh, to kill it. I think lemonade. I really, really hope this is some weird, weird ass set because I'm just gonna go for earthquake. I really don't want to see earthquake, or I mean soul stance. It feels too greedy. I feel it should be low kick. He's really thinking about this, which is kind of nice. Triple Axel. Yeah, makes sense. Life Orb? No Life Orb. Life Orb. And I actually forgot about Triple Axel, so I think I just lose here. So he, maybe he thinks about the first impression, right? You know about first impression. Yeah, let's do that. No, damn it. Well, I'll give this one to my opponent. Because there is no way I'll leave this combination unless he misses. Yeah, this is GG. Really, really great job from my opponent. This is all I can say. Um, pretty bad prep when I think about it. I was considering a scoffed variant of um, a Vashbringer, but I forgot about Triple Axel. And, um, well, I clearly couldn't beat. Ah, it sucks. It really sucks. I think my opponent did all the right stops, though. So I'm, I'm not mad. I actually think... Um, there's a reason he has won so many times as he has. I'm just very glad I was able to put him so, put on some pressure. And um, as stated, we're not having a goal for playoff anyway because we can't play the playoff. We barely can play the, the two remaining games, unfortunately. But we are going to play them, but I'm not going to go out of my way to win them because, as I said, due to November giving me um, well, both Corona and my um, promotion pretty much made it impossible both for me to actually play league games, so I'm just trying to have as much fun as possible, and we got pretty close, closer than we ever had before, by actually doing something more unique. Saito was an absolute mad lad, and uh, I'm happy with how this game turned about. Could have done something different, yeah, but at the same time, it didn't necessarily matter, <laughs> because as I said, we can't aim for the playoff in this league anyway. 
So with that, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game. And make sure to check out Jay's side. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a rough time with this side there, I'm sure. So yeah, I really mean this, guys. As always, take care. Bye.